Okay, so we're going to talk about how hot the market is right now, and uh, especially if you're under a time crunch, how you need to know the minute a house goes on the market. Um, the majority, and I, you know, I'll say 90% again, of the houses that I worked with buyers on this past year, um, or my team for that matter, um, were bidding contest. Highest and best offer. Do you know what that means? That means that you find a house you like, you have me draw up an offer for you, we shoot it over to the other realtor, and they email me or text me usually and say, we have multiple offers on this property, submit your highest and best offer by five o'clock this evening. That then becomes a throw of the dart. What do you wanna do? There's a game out there now where if you see a home, if you've been looking for a while, you know when you come across those homes that you're like, wow, that's only 220. That looks like, you know, a 260 house. Well, trust me, it is a 260 house. It's a game that realtors are playing now, that they list the house low so that they get flooded with offers and then they send out that text or email that says highest and best. So now what do you do? Where do you bid? What do you offer on the house? Do you even bother? Do you walk away? Okay. These are the things that I can help you with that if you're doing it on your own, you're just doing it on your own. If you know it's a $280,000 house, you're going to offer 280. What if the next highest bid was only 250? You know, I don't have a crystal ball either, but I've been doing this a lot longer than, you know, most people that are buying a house. So anyway, something to consider. Um, when if you're on a deadline we need to jump on them immediately we need to draw up that offer and we need to put a deadline on it to try to beat that and there's some other tricks that we use um, but in the next video i'm going to cover um, I'm, let's call it what you don't know that you don't know okay how much there is involved in the process that you know nothing about even if you've done it before, you're not going to remember all this stuff um, and why you don't want to trust everything to another agent. Thanks.